There's a 23-year-old uh, Miss Universe Canada uh, contested by the name of Jenna, and she was uh, going to compete in the next pageant, but it turns out that Miss Universe Canada decided to disqualify her because, believe it or not, she was actually born a male. Jeezum? She says that she realized that uh, she, even though she was born a male, she identified as a female as early as age four. So beginning at the age of 14, she started taking hormones, and she officially had reassignment surgery uh, at the age of 19. I, sh she's freaking gorgeous. Okay, but yeah. anyway. I think you got to give her a world of credit, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, she has done a great job of reconstructing herself uh, into what she believes is her real identity. Mm -hmm. So the question is, of course, should she be allowed to compete? Now, it's very clear in the rules that you have to be born a female. Right. Now, but she can also make the argument that she was born a female, just not physically, mm -hmm. but mentally, right? Interesting argument. Which way does it go, Casper? I do not believe she should compete. Oh, God. This, and this is my argument. Uh, pageants are stupid. Oh. I, I, think that, I think that they uh, focus on the wrong skills, the wrong elements. I thought you were going to say the, wrong body parts. No, and that's... What a, skills I mean, do they focus on? I mean, they really, they don't focus on skill. Like, they pretend that they do, but they don't. Look, you, I, I don't feel like something as stupid as a pageant should validate you. And I think that she's an incredible woman, and she's very courageous for coming out. She did an interview about God, this you're such a lib. Okay. No, fuck pageants. I hate uh, pageants. Okay, she's some Lord no, Mercy. I hate pageants. Okay, so no, but I, the I thing is, that's not the that. question, though. The no. question isn't should we dissolve the pageant. The question is should she be able to compete in that pageant that she wants to compete in? This is a blessing in disguise for her. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to okay. see her competing in a pageant. I, I that's come, all I have to say. Okay, I come to the same conclusion except for different and logical reasons. Okay. Oh, because what I'm saying is illogical? No, because like it's a fair argument in a different case. No, but okay, is, but Justice is... Kasparian, we're trying to resolve whether she should compete in a pageant that it already exists. Okay, so, look, her body is reconstructed. Okay, first of all, it's clear in the bylaws that you need to be born female, and keep it real, physically she was not born female. So immediately I say it's a disqualification. Number two, her whole body has been reconstructed. Now I know people will say, hey, you know what, but a lot of women get breast enhancement surgery and they get other kinds of surgery that also re-enhance or reconstruct their bodies, but they don't get their whole bodies remade in a sense, right? So overall, mainly because the rules are clear, I, I would disqualify her. But I, again, I give her all the credit in the world for having the courage to compete, for doing well before people even found out that she was born a male, and, uh, and for looking hot. Am I, you know, am I not the most open-minded lib in the world? Okay? Can okay, we, there, we, I said it. I said it. I'm not a, a afraid to say it. That appears to be an attractive female. You know what? This is actually a, a really important issue about whether um, a person is a man or a woman because, you know, everyone thinks gender is binary, but it's not, and it's a very difficult thing. In fact, in the Olympics, they have a whole committee dedicated to de determining whether an athlete is a male or a female because they just don't know. There are a lot of ambiguities because of, you know, the way people are born. And um, I actually know a man who is on that panel, and he was telling me all the differences and all the difficulties they have, and sometimes their ruling is wrong. So maybe in the future, these uh, pageants should also have a similar panel to decide whether a person is a male or female. Or they should say, yeah, yeah. or they should say, have at it, Hoss. Yeah, exactly. If you want to compete in the female uh, category and you look female, well, if you can beat the other uh, women and you're hotter than them, go for it. I mean, yeah, I think that's I a think fairer that's rule. The only reason I rule this way is because, because the rules are pre-existing, right? I'm amused at the idea of a panel deciding whether you're a male or female. But it's a like, real panel. I know, I know it is, and I think that's ridiculous. In this case, if she identifies as a female, she even has female genitalia. Let her go, let her compete. So that's my real stance on it. But okay, I don't think, thank you. But Finally I don't we arrive think, at it. Yeah, I don't think that she should participate.